We've been following this story out of Oakland for months. I know you know it well. It sounds like a lot of the kind. It sounds like the kind of thing that makes for an uplifting TV show, which we all love. Mm -hmm. But for these Oakland youth football players, it is real life. And Betty, you shows us they probably need someone to pinch them after their championship dreams came true. The East Bay Panthers will go into our record books as the first 12U Division II championship ever. It was a sweet celebration for an Oakland youth football team that has had to fight some pretty tough battles off the field. They won the Division II League Championship in Sacramento this past weekend after gun violence forced them out of their practice field in September. It feels good because we made history. We the first youth to win in the East Bay Panthers history. There is a shot, yay! 13-year-old East Bay Panthers 12U defensive end Yeshawn Marbley showed us his championship ring. The East Bay Panthers beat the Berkeley Junior Jackets 26 to 14. For him to get a ring and me to see the smile on his face and it's keeping him focused. So I'm like, that's great to me. And then my son is not in the streets. So long as he's safe, that's the best thing for me. Back in August, two shootings in one week in and around Verdice Carter Park in East Oakland sent the players, parents, and the coach running for their lives. Now I heard it, and then I just start. I didn't know until I just seen everybody running. So I was just like, I'm going to just run too. So we all started running, and then we got down. I was like a little nervous because, like, that could have been the end right there. It could have been the end? Yeah. With the help of city leaders and the Oakland Fire Chief, the team now practices at Madison Park Academy. The field isn't perfect, but it's one they're grateful for. Our babies are resilient. That is the best word for them. Um, some of them go through not eating um, regular or getting food cooked. Ball is the team is facing yet another challenge. They're moving on to the regional championships in San Diego this weekend, but they're about $3,000 short. They're in search of donations to cover the cost of two large vans and lodging for 30 people. Financially, it's kind of stressful, but I feel like um, if we can get any donations like we're trying to and some of the parents hopefully can come together. Admittedly, Ayala Pitts said early on she had her doubts about the team's success. Them coming from where they coming from, some kids don't, you know, they don't, we don't get the support we need. Yeah. We don't have the finances, we don't have the proper field, we don't have, you know, so I didn't think we were going to make it too far. But at the end, them kids said they was fighting and they, they fought. Okay, son. Where that ring at, son? Let me see. Let me see, yeah. Okay. Wow. As the father of three athletes, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I know the commitment that it takes from mm -hmm. a parent standpoint, but so, so it just takes all of you. And then you need more money to kind of continue to go on and on, and that's, yeah, that's an issue. Cheap. No, it's not. Yeah. No, it's not. But I will say this. They're champions. Yeah. Can't take it away from them. No. For the rest of the – and they're the first. Yeah. And there's something – some just mean a little something for that. One game left. Yeah. You know, we've gotten so many calls and comments about this story, and the second that we heard it, we were hoping that they would find somewhere to play. So it was really nice to see, even if the field was covered in, how should we say? Rocks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and they, they joked about it when we did a previous story. They said, yeah, we don't love that part. Probably have to dive around yeah. a little bit of that. Careful. Be very careful. But it doesn't matter. They persevered.